this is a case of right-sided transverse sigmoid and jugular venous thrombosis presenting in a 66-year-old male with a history of pancreatic neuroendocrine neoplasm. The axial T2 weighted image demonstrates increased T2 signal intensity in the distal transverse proximal right sigmoid sinus on the right with additional increased T2 signal intensity at the proximal right internal, internal jugular bulb. As we can see on the left, the normal appearance of the dural venous sinuses is hypo-intense on the T2-weighted sequence due to the presence of venous flow. The second image with flare weighting demonstrates increased flare signal hyperintensity in the right transverse sinus. The sagittal T1-weighted sequence off midline demonstrates hyperintense signal compatible with thrombus extending from the right jugular bulb more inferiorly. The findings are confirmed on the DWI and ADC maps where there is diffusion restrictions at the sites of thrombosis. The 3D maximal intensity projection MR venogram confirms the absence of flow within the thrombose transverse sinus, sigmoid sinus, and proximal right internal jugular vein. Causes of dural venous sinus thrombosis include acute dehydration, administration of chemotherapeutic agents, hypercoagulable states, iatrogenic causes, infection, malignancy, as in our case, malnutrition, pregnancy, and trauma.